Alright, here we go. Got a match, set up Aerodactyl, sends out Ninjas. I'm expecting Protect, so I'm gonna try and use that, uh, that turn to switch for free. As, uh, if he sets up a sub, it would just die. So, I bring in Dust Noir, but, uh, he set up a sub anyway, so that was a good move on his part. And, uh, plan to Ice Punch it now, remove the sub. He Baton Passes, as opposed to, uh, getting a free Swords Dance or something. That's the point of sub, but whatever. Brings in an Aerodactyl, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the sub goes away with the Ice Punch. A and now I'm a little afraid of Crunch, but, uh, he didn't get a Swords Dance boost, so I know I can take it. I'll be able to Ice Punch him, and then quite possibly Shadow Sneak to kill it next turn. So I thought about using Pain Split, or maybe even Will O' Wisp, but Aerodactyl doesn't live... He doesn't live enough for all that, so I'm just going to go with the Ice Punch on him. He uses Aerial Ace, and he didn't even use Crunch, so whatever, no worries whatsoever. I'll hang out here all day if I have to. And, uh, there goes the Ice Punch. Critical hit, a little bit of luck, so that's nice. And, uh, finishes it off, though I... It would be really close to hit points anyway. Shadow Sneak would probably finish it off second turn. Brings in a Gengar. Apparently he forgot about Shadow Sneak. I know I can live a Shadow Ball, so there goes the Sneak. And, uh, he doesn't even Shadow Ball. He puts on a Will-O-Wisp, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder if he thought I was trying to switch or what, but uh, I think I'm still going to go for that on the Shadow Sneak kill, because I'm pretty sure I can still live a Shadow... I don't know, that's too close to call, but whatever. Dodges a Shadow Sneak, and, uh... I don't know, Blissey probably wants to uh, maybe T-Wave a switch, maybe set up a Stealth Rock, maybe Ice Beam, I don't know. But uh, I guess he su suspect another switch there. But uh, I'll Pain Split to recover myself and hurt him a couple hundred hit points as well. So I would have liked to wait on that, but there was no guarantee I'd get down low enough. I didn't want him setting up a Stealth Rock and then like switching out and have nothing work at all. So whatever. I switch in my bliss in order to set up a stealth rock, as I know he's got ninjas, it'd be nice to get rid of that. So, just like last time, he brings that in on the blissy to avoid the avoid the stealth rock, so, quick acting by him. He swords dances now, as opposed to setting up a sub, and, uh, I hit it with a uh, S-Toss, gets it pretty down there, and then he baton passes. Now, I don't know what his hit points are, but... There's a good chance he could have lived in our S toss, and if not, could have subbed up, gotten a berry, but now ninjas can't live when it switch in due to stealth rock, so that was kind of a waste. He should have made his Arcanine more powerful there. I bring in Gr Grim Reaper, and uh, I dodge an extreme speed, which is kind of nice. Don't really know what to uh, expect from this, as I've got, I've got burn on, so Shadow Snake isn't going to do a whole lot of anything, but um, i got to try something here. I know I can't burn it myself, but uh, he brings Gengar back in, and there's a Shadow Sneak trying to whittle it down, so that's good for me, get that thing out of the way, and let's see what he brings in next, he brings in a Salamence, which intimidates me, and further lowers my attack, so with minus three attack, Ice Punch, even on Salamence, isn't going to do a whole lot, so I've got to switch out, I go to a Metagross, and he Dragon Dances, that's not good. I know I'll live in Earthquake still, but it'll be darn close. Use his Fire Fang instead, and uh, get some ridiculous flinch hacks on that one. So now Metagross can't live another hit, it's gotta switch out. And there's uh, DD Salamence staring at my face that I can't deal with, because he got a, got a nice 10% flinch there. That was the reason I lost to him last time. Grim Reaper comes back in, mostly just because I want to get a free switch to something else. In the future, I don't know, I, I suppose I could try some Ice Punches now. Not really expecting a whole lot, though. And he uses, uh, he packs Crunch, which is, uh, in my opinion, a, a waste of a move on Salamence. But whatever, he found its use. And, uh, even though Dragon Claw would probably do pretty much the same thing. But, whatever, that's, that's his choice. Dragon dances up again. And uh, by this point, my only hope was to get it slow enough that uh, something else, like a Starmie or Aerodactyl, will be able to come in and finish it off. Because I don't have anything that can take a hit. What he should have done there, I don't know. Maybe Dragon Dance again. But uh, he went for the kill. Fortunately, I got away with it. So, thankfully to me, I got the thing paralyzed and I'll be able to get out of this mess. So, 
there's not really a point in me soft boiling as I won't live a hit. I suppose I could hope for uh, hope for some paralyzed hacks, but that doesn't happen for me, and it would just die. So I don't know. I didn't really have anything for Blissey to do because Salamence is gonna die in one hit anyway. But I just went for the hit. So Game Facts comes in and uh, the ever obvious Ice Fang, but I didn't really have a choice. So I suppose I could have done Stone Edge, but whatever. I'm not picky. He brings in a Ninjisk now, which he should save for later if he wanted a free switch in, or uh, a burn a turn, so to say, but whatever, he got rid of the Ninjisk now, brings in a Blissey, which uh, I'm pretty sure he has a counter Bliss, so I don't want to stay in here and stone edge it, because that would mean death for my Aerodactyl, so I don't really want to switch to, uh, what, what do I switch in? I guess I do switch to him. I didn't want to at first, fearing a uh, T-Wave. But I guess I predicted the counter more overall. So now I have a, an option I could either spore it, sub up, or just fly out focus punch here. Doesn't really matter. I go with the spore. And uh da -da -da -da, it's sleeping, leftovers, all that good stuff happens. And uh now I think I sub up, but he brings in the Arcanine. Which hurts me with an intimate. No, it doesn't. He's got flash fire. Never mind. So, that's good for me then. Set up a sub. And then I can uh, focus punch the next two turns and finish off his last two pokes, which is what I do. So, no point in uh, commentating for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys another time. Peace!